There is an incredible hidden miniature world around us unseen to our naked eyes. And science has made it possible for us to enlarge, look and capture the amazing details of this micro world. When viewed under an electron microscope, even ordinary things look so weird that they seem to belong to a parallel universe because they can magnify an object by thousands or even millions of times with incredible details. So with that said, let's take a peek inside the core of things that surround us and see what they look like under an electron microscope. Some bats have hair-like structures on the tip of their tongues which help them slurp nectar far more efficiently than a smooth tongue would. Here these structures are sewn up close. Red blood cells are the most abundant type of cell in human blood, accounting for 40% of the blood volume. Here they are seen on the tip of a 26 gauge hypodermic needle. This is the stigma of a sunflower holding orange pollen grains. The lenticular array or micro lens in the US $100 bill shows a different color when the viewing angle of the bill is changed. This is just one of the security features of the bill. Others include microprint, watermarks, lenticular images, special inks, fluorescent fibers and strips, colored fibers, and the use of full colored inks. A close-up of a fortune cookie magnified 150 times. This is a tardigrade, also known as water bears. They are one of nature's most interesting animals. They are among the most resilient animals found on earth and are almost indestructible. This is a silkworm moth caterpillar. They can spin threads of silk and in the picture of the moth, it is even possible to see the tiny hook-like feelers called spinnerets, which help create the strands. This image shows the relative thickness of a typical nanowire in comparison with a strand of human hair. The hair is about 100 micrometers in diameter and the nanowire's diameter is about 100 nanometers. The black mulberry has been cultivated since antiquity and is probably originally from China. Here the microscopic detail shows the individual fruitlets. The hairy texture is withered reproductive organs or stigma. These are spheres of adhesive on the back of a post-it note. The spheres contain an adhesive which rupture under pressure releasing a thin film of adhesive over the surface they are in contact with. Only a few spheres are ruptured at one time, meaning the post-it note can be reused many times until all the spheres have been exhausted. A close-up of the wing surface of a blue dragonfly. An almond magnified 110 times. These are abrasive crystals in a toothpaste. The abrasive is usually an insoluble salt such as dicalcium phosphate. Although brushing the teeth without toothpaste, powder or gel removes food debris and some dental plaque, a slightly abrasive substance is needed to remove the remaining plaque and the pellicle, a thin film formed from saliva. This is the surface of a corolla petal from the peppermint plant showing yellow oil above its oil glands. The tall gray structures are part of the petal. 
The oil produced by the glands is widely used in industry in the manufacture of perfumes and alcoholic drinks. Yogurt is made in part through the fermenting action of these different bacteria. Here you can see one of the bacteria called Lactobacillus bulgaricus on the surface of yogurt. This less scary and almost cute caterpillar will spend most of its life eating before transforming into a common blue butterfly. It recruits ants for protection by secreting nutrient-rich substances on which the ants feed. A close-up of iPhone earbuds. Orb Weaver Spider Spinneret Spinnerets are organs located on the abdomens of spiders from which spider web silk is extruded. The individual spinnerets move independently yet in a highly coordinated manner to build cocoons or webs. A blackhead attached to hairs. Blackheads consists of dead cells and debris which can cause an obstruction in the hair follicle. Blackheads and pimples form when sebaceous oil builds up behind this blockage. Pear pollen grains. Pears are fruit trees which are pollinated by insects, particularly honeybees and bumblebees. This mask is made of the plant material cellulose which is biodegradable. Most modern surgical masks are made from a non-woven material such as this and are discarded after each use. These are ridges on a scale from the wing of a butterfly. All butterflies and moths have transparent scales on their wings, which have these tiny ridges on them. These ridges break up and reflect light giving the wings their shimmering iridescent appearance. This specimen is from a morpho butterfly. A close-up of a ladybug beetle head with its mouth parts. The surface of a sandpaper. This sandpaper is technically known as grade 2.5 parchment glass paper and the picture shows clearly the tiny glass grains which give it its roughness. Finer grades of sandpaper use even smaller glass particles. The paper base hidden beneath the grains is a high quality product made from hemp or jute fibers. The blue spherical thing in the middle of this image is a black bread mold sporangium. Sporangia are a sexual reproductive structures where the mold spores, seen here as red stuff on the top, develop before being released into the air. Inside our ear, sound waves are channeled to the cochlea. There these hair cells help convert sound waves to nerve impulses and pass them to the brain for interpretation. A close-up of two interlocking gears inside a wristwatch. Botfly larvae are endoparasites of mammals. Some species parasite humans, developing under the skin. Anthrax bacteria are rod-shaped, gram-positive, spore-forming bacteria. The bacteria can infect the skin causing raised itchy lesions, the lungs which is fatal unless treated quickly and the digestive system causing vomiting of blood and severe diarrhea. All forms can be fatal if left untreated. Treatment is with antibiotics. 
a pineapple leaf surface magnified 85 times. A chalk is a soft, white, porous sedimentary carbonate rock, a form of limestone composed of the mineral calcite. Calcite is an ionic salt called calcium carbonate. It forms under reasonably deep marine conditions from the gradual accumulation of minute calcite shells shed from microorganisms called coccolithophores. The surface of a natural sesame seed. The seed is used whole in cooking or pressed for its oil. These may look like angry birds, but they're actually hatched eggs of stink bugs. Unused and used toothpicks. The used toothpick has a blunt end and is covered in dental plaque. A cross section of an apple, which shows a section through the apple from skin through a layer of compact epidermal cells to the first layer of the interior cortex parenchyma storage cells. Bacteria around a sweat gland pore on the surface of human skin. Sweat pores bring sweat from a sweat gland to the skin surface. The sweat evaporates, removing heat and playing a vital role in cooling the body and preventing it from overheating. This is an arrow worm, a predatory marine worm. This is a paramecium, a unicellular organism naturally found in aquatic habitats. They are able to swim at velocities reaching several times their body size per second by beating their cilia in an organized fashion. This is what a pop-tart looks like when viewed under an electron microscope and magnified 450 times. Gold flakes and nanoparticles under an electron microscope. A rose flower pistil. Pistils hold a plant's female reproductive structures. An eight week old human fetus. The eighth week of pregnancy represents the end of formative developmental stage and the embryo becomes a fetus. It is human-like in appearance with the head large in proportion to the body. All major organ systems are formed by the eighth week but require much growth since the fetus is only about 3 cm in crown to rump length. The hairs or setae on the foot of a common wall gecko seen in this image enable the gecko to cling to smooth surfaces by taking advantage of weak intermolecular forces known as van der Waals forces. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.